Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining in for another edition of the weekly career class by I Dream Career. I'm Thomas, and I'm very proud to host uh, Gaurav Jiral on our session today. Uh, thank you for coming in, Gaurav. Thank you very much for your time. And just a quick introduction for Gaurav. Uh, for all of us, I think we already know Gaurav as the face of and the host of Art Attack on the Disney Channel. Uh, Gaurav is a learning experience designer and an educator. Uh, he graduated in animation film design from the National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad, uh, having more than 10 years of experience in teaching both in a rural and urban learning environments. Uh, he aims to share his rich, rich uh, experience in uh, to mutually learn and also help all of you evolve and prepare for uh, you know, a career in design and share with you all of his experiences there as well. And of course, his experience ranges from being a homeroom teacher at Riverside School in Ahmedabad to uh, a remote school in Darbari in Jaisalmer. Uh, he's also engaged with organizations like Adobe, Google, uh, PayPal, NID, IIM Ahmedabad, IIT BHU, IIT Roorkee, uh, Kharagpur, Srishti School of Design, and uh, the American School of Bombay to name a few. So once again, thank you so much, Gaurav, for coming in. And uh, I we are very excited to have you here. Uh, uh, all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thomas. Uh, so I'll, I, actually, I'll just straight away go ahead and we'll try to maximize, maximize the time so students can ask questions and uh, if they have any uh, queries, if they need any help, so we can go ahead in that direction. So I won't take too much time talking about other things. Um, and uh, so, yes, I have I initiated um, my career in design. And before NID, I was actually pursuing 3D animation. But then I realized that animation itself, 2D, 3D, stop motion, etc. These are just techniques, right? And you really need to understand the philosophy and the, you know, the core of a particular subject to actually become good at it. So then I came to know about NID and I got through and I was really glad uh, because it has had a tremendous um, you can say change it brought into my own skill set, my thinking, and so on. So I'll, I'll be sharing my insights into design. And uh, so this is a quick briefing that I'll be taking you through. Uh, there are many other details that you will also, you'll have to update yourself through the internet when it comes to exams and format, because these things are also changing, right? They're always never the, exactly the same. Many institutions are also changing their patterns, so you have to keep updating yourself um, in real time. So a quick journey, um, as you guys know that I did animation film design from NID. Before that, I did uh, one and a half years of 3D animation from Maya Academy. And I also, actually I was before my undergraduate course, um, and after my 12th, I was also working as a 3D animator. And then I got through my course at NID. And uh, luckily, uh, right, Almost right when I was graduating, I got through Walt Disney's Art Attack. Also happened by chance, I was not aiming at it. I'm also not a performer. So it just happened to be that I learned the craft of performing and hosting on TV. It happened on the go. And uh, then for many years after Art Attack, uh, what really happened was I got introduced to students and the culture of learning and teaching and and I love learning and I like love sharing. So I realized that's my calling, uh, you know, what some people say, soul calling. So for many years, I worked as an independent professional. I created many curated workshops for children, adults alike. And uh, then you will also realize that in design, there's something called the user or the stakeholder. And uh, empathizing with the user is one key thing that we do in design. And therefore, I started working with schools and colleges because I needed to spend more time with students and not just a one day, one week workshop, which does not give me enough insights as a designer. So I became an educator for many years to, again, take my understanding of who, whom am I designing education for. And then now currently I'm working with Baiju's uh, as a learning experience designer. But I'm also pursuing learning experience design and education design uh, because that's my passion. I love improving education and learning and curriculum and content. Um, and a big part of it is student culture, which I, I always try to tell institutions that you have to work on student culture. And I also tell students to work on student culture. 
So that's a quick journey and uh, let's go forward and let's talk about design that what exactly is design. Okay. And uh, so a lot of people, you know, they talk about blueprints and they'd say, okay, this is design. They talk about form and shape and they say it's about design, but um, where the design really started, a quick history was that the seed was um, sown in, in Germany in 1919. And Bauhaus was a school which, which was set up with this vision that to bring uh, craftsmen, to bring architecture, to bring, you know, um, different disciplines under, to, under the same roof to provide a much more better crafted solution or service or thinking as per se. And in 1961, it came to India as we all know about NID, right? So the seed and Bauhaus actually closed down eventually after the war. but Throughout the world, the philosophy of Bauhaus is still there. So, yes, I just remembered that I'll be switching between English and Methodi Hindi mein bhi baat karunga, taki aap sab log ko jo bhi language ya koi bhasha aapke liye asaan ho, wo samajhne mein aapke liye asaan hi rahe. And uh, baki humare jab sab sabal aayenge or questions aayenge, tab aap apne kisi bhi language of your choice mein aap mujh se pooch sakte hai sabal. So, if we see it like this, design, if I say in words, mein bolun, okay? So, it's just that it helps us manifest an idea. Manifest means that it helps us to make it. Now, how do I take it in my mind? How do I take it in front of someone? So, that's what manifest is, right? But, there are many people who take it in front of an idea, who make it, who make it, who make it, who make it. But the thing is that in design that you have to keep all stakeholders in mind. Stakeholder means that the people involved in the chain, mein, right from the designer to the consumer to the people, the client, everyone, you have to think about all of them. Then it's design. Hai. Otherwise, you are just doing something, right? So why design is important is because it tries to take everything with you. And therefore, we don't take a lot of things in planning. Mein nahi lete hai, you know? You do something, but something bad also happens because of, we call it a fallout. For example, we invented plastic. It was supposed to save trees, but now we know that it is creating another problem statement of pollution, for example, right? So this is what design does. It thinks into the future and jitni problem wo pehle hi solve kar sakta hai, try to solve it. So solution to denge hi hum log, lekin we also try to work with everyone together and try to make the whole process better, okay? And not just for the consumer, but everyone who is involved in the whole process. And if we look at the design process, hai, to people har process ko ek words mein, you know, it's very important to put a process into words. So this will be boring, sa aapko lagega, ki, you know, the process goes through understanding, then empathizing, then defining, then ideating, prototyping and testing. But it's actually very simple. It's like first, we have to understand what we are going to design. Okay. वो कुछ भी हो सकता है। So first you have to understand the problem. उसके लिए आपको बहुत सारा research, investigate, you have to go on the field, you have to talk to people, and जितना आप ज़्यादा उस चीज़ को समझेंगे, and the more you understand, the more you start empathizing with the problem and the people. Okay, empathize का मतलब है उनको उनके you know you feel their pain and you feel their happiness and you understand कि इनको क्या चाहिए जिससे इनकी problem solve होगी, and you understand कि what exactly do I give which makes their life easier. And once you have empathized with enough research, then you define the problem, okay? You don't start with the problem. You first understand the whole scenario, then you define the problem. Uske baad aata ideation. So what we do is, we most of us jump onto this point, ideation. But you have to go through this process and that's why design is not just something, it's a process. And after you have ideated, you have to make it, you have to prototype it, you know, basic prototype, which is cheap, which is simple, which is economical, which is quick, and test it out. And testing, after that, you have to go back to prototyping, testing, and ideation, you have to go back to the circle 2-3 to improve the prototype. All right? And if I say it very simply, basically, this is our timeline, left to right. You start over here, you go forward on this direction, and after that, you have to जो रिसर्च करते हैं खूब सारा उसके बाद बहुत सारी अनसर्टेनिटी निकलती हैं तो यहाँ पे बेसिकली हमें यू नो वी कॉल इट खिचड़ी आल्सो सो वी वी डू अ लॉट ऑफ होमवर्क विच कंफ्यूजेस अस अलॉट 
बट एज वी डू आर होमवर्क एंड एज वी डू आर डिजाइन रिसर्च एंड ऑल वहां से विद पैटर्न निकलते हैं इनसाइट निकलती है फिर आप कॉन्सेप्ट डेवलप करते हैं प्रोटोटाइप निकलता है उसके बाद वन सोल्यूशन विल कम आउट विच इज अ लॉट ऑफ क्लैरिटी ओके एंड दिस इज वॉट इनोवेशन एंड डिजाइन इज सो वी गो फ्रॉम अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन टू लॉट ऑफ क्लैरिटी एंड दैट वॉट इट्स वेरी सिंपली पुट फॉर डिजाइन प्रोसेस नाउ जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्थ ऑफ डिजाइन एंड द फिलोसफी ऑफ डिजाइन लेट से यू हैव ट्वेंटी सेकेंड कैन यू टेल मी वॉट सो स्पेशल अबाउट दिस यू कैन टाइप इट आउट यू कैन नोट इट डाउन समवेयर एंड इट्स बिटवीन यू एंड यू सो नो वरीज इफ यू कैनोट टेल इट टू मी बट क्या स्पेशल है इसके बारे में सो इट्स अ टिफिन वी ऑल कैन सी राइट आई वोट गिव यू टू मच टाइम लेट सी इफ यू कैन क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड सो इट्स अ वेरी very old vintage design over here now if you see this spoon you know which we need to eat food it's also holding the whole tiffin together aap spoon nikalenge to it tiffin will come apart which means you will never lose the spoon because agar aap spoon lose karenge to aap tiffin nahi wapas lock kar payenge and that's a problem with current design with with so let's say tiffin with a spoon spoon hamesha alag rehti hai jiske wajah se there is always a problem of losing it all right so it's a very smart design and if you understand what this is aap sabko pata ye road hai uske bagal mein ye notches kyu hain so if i tell you ki kai sare drivers hote hain wo raat ko chala rahe hain gaadi ya din mein bhi chala rahe hain to neend aana is very common across the world globally now if we tell uh, anyone students or professionals ki you have to solve the problem of sleeping drivers how would you solve it and a lot of people will start thinking very complex bahut mushkil like complex solution sochna shuru karenge bolo The simplest solution is, अब वो जो complex solution है, there might be tech involved and you know बहुत fancy होंगे, लेकिन उसका implementation जब करने जाएंगे तो आपको पता लगेगा कोई use नहीं कर रहा है क्योंकि सबके पास tech नहीं है, सबके पास मतलब there is complexity of uh, economics and all. Uh, इसमें simply they create this notches. जब भी गाड़ी main road से बाहर जाएगी, because of the vibration created, it wakes up the driver. So it's cheaper, it's more efficient, it is you know. आपके पास ट्रक है आपके पास छोटी गाड़ी आपका टू व्हीलर है नो व्हाट व्हाट यू हैव इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क सो दिस इज व्हाई अमेजिंग द यू नो थिंकिंग एंड एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डिजाइन इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस इज अ कॉल्ड रूम्बा बट इट्स बेसिकली अ रोबो वैक्यूम नाउ द थिंग इज की वॉट दे हैव सोल्व सो आप सबके पास झाड़ू पहुंचा करते हैं घर पे राइट बट दे हैव सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ऑफ क्लीनिंग द हाउस but the kind of technology they have involved is it maps the house it knows the corners it also knows zyada gandagi kahan pe hoti hai it also creates a 3d map of your house in terms of wall kahan pe hai kahan pe kaun sa sofa rakha hai so the thing is ki when jab aap kuch solve karne ja rahe hain to usko thoroughly solve kijiye achhi tarah and that when it becomes really valuable for people and design is also subtle we don't it's not ki design tabhi aaya jab modern industry aayi hai right for example If I tell you that the human kind has been, you know, one form of design is saving food, the excess food that we preserve, not can preserve, which will be lost, drying, pickling, all these techniques are ancient techniques of design in which they have designed food so that it can last much longer during the whole year round. So there are so many things uh, which are, you know, which we consider not, which are very well designed objects and well designed uh, lifestyle basically. and you also have to understand ki why so many different kind of clothes and exist and apparel exist in different cultures itne sare kapde alag alag tarah ke kyun pehnte hain log because aap sirf apne mann se design nahi kar sakte aapko dekhna padega environment kya hai weather kya hai kaun se country ke kis bhag mein hai unka daily jo kaam hai unka lifestyle hai usme kya kya activities wo din mein karte hain wahan se cheeze evolve ho ke aati hain isliye jo hamara kai sara traditional pehnava hai वो काफी सारा पहनावा हैज एक्चुअली कम डाउन फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री ऑफ स्लो एवोल्यूशन बट एंड नॉट एस्थेटिकली अ ग्रेट पार्ट इज फंक्शन एज वेल जो हम कंसिडर नहीं करते हमें लगता है बस ऐसा अच्छा लगता है इसलिए पहन देते हैं इसलिए ट्रेडिशनल डे पे भी ऑल वेयर कुर्ता एंड साड़ी बट यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड कि ये चीजें बहुत डीप कल्चर से बहुत सारा प्लानिंग एंड यू नो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग के बाद ये चीजें क्रिएट हुई हैं and what design is not you have to understand hum log design jo word hai bahut loosely use karte hain you know mehndi design and this design that design so ye to motif hai okay motif is different shape is different form is different art is different design is a process and how things work all right it is not 
ये अगर मेरे पास फोन है तो दिस यू नो यू डोंट से फोन डिजाइन है फोन हैज बिन डिजाइंड थ्रू अ प्रोसेस बट ये जो आपको दिख रहा है ये इसका फॉर्म है सो so, जो हम ये वर्ड यूज करते हैं डिजाइन यू शुड नॉट यूज इट वेरी लूजली एवरीवेयर सिंस यू ऑल आर गोइंग टू परस्यू डिजाइन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड डिजाइन इज अ प्रोसेस एंड इट इज यू डोंट यूज इट फॉर फॉर्म और मोटिव और बहुत बार हम ऐसा करते हैं कि देखो उसका डिजाइन कितना अच्छा लग रहा है उसका भी डिजाइन नहीं है इट हैज बिन डिजाइंड इन अ सर्टन वे बट वो जो आप देख रहे हैं उसका फॉर्म है वो अगर वो टू है तो वो शेप हो जाएगा ओके ना मूविंग फॉरवर्ड दिस इज अ ट्रेडिशनल डिजाइन अम्ब्रेला I'm calling it traditional because although design still it's very new against other disciplines. Um, let's say you have largely industrial design and visual communication. ये बहुत बड़े umbrella हैं इसके अंदर बहुत कुछ fit हो जाता है. इसके बाहर भी कुछ कुछ चीजें आती हैं. New age. We'll talk about it later. So visual communication will understand and will understand industrial design also. Um, very simply put, visual communication is जहाँ पे आप एक स्टोरी कम्युनिकेट करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं वो आप एक लोगों के तरह से करेंगे पोस्टर में करेंगे यू पुट इट एज अ टाइपोग्राफी यू नो एज एन आइकन डजेंट मैटर बट कम्युनिकेशन इज द सोल एंड विजुअल इज एन एलिमेंट यू यूजिंग अलोंग विद कम्युनिकेशन सो टेक्स्ट एंड इमेजेस का इसमें बहुत ज्यादा एक यू हैव टू मास्टर द टू ओके विच ऑल्सो मीन्स यू ऑल्सो नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट थिंग्स and the power of words basically and in industrial design uh, ye alag umbrella kyun hai because isme industrial processes bahut zyada istemal hote hain you can't just do industrial design at, at home you can design things but usko execute karne ke liye aapko industrial processes mein jana hi padega right and visual communication you can sit at home um and a lot of great amount of part can be done in one place with your digital devices Moving forward, these are just some specialization within design. Okay, कुछ industrial design में आएगा, कुछ visual communication में आएगा. Um, architecture over here we'll talk later. Although design colleges में architecture नहीं पढ़ाया जाता है. Architectural colleges are very different. They have a different exam. But I can still say the people who are interested in in design are also sometimes interested interested in architecture because उनका core same है. They both are a creative field. They both are also technical fields, and therefore uh, it's included here. Okay. so fashion a lot of time comes into industrial design film visual communication game design can come into uh, both uh, but visual communication largely uh, graphic design visual communication illustration visual communication type is also visual television is visual photography is visual painting is visual landscape design sometimes comes also under architecture and otherwise and interior design is industrial design as well Uh, moving forward there are more fields matlab ye uh, presentation is also available on my website you can go into gorujal.com resources and i'll also make it available to i dream career so they can share it with you you don't have to note it down but you understand kitna zyada sub specialization and design uh, so you don't have to worry about this too much as long as you enter design there is a lot of flexibility to move around not formally like a college allow nahi karega ki aap एक साल आप फोटोग्राफी कीजिए नेक्स्ट ईयर प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन कीजिए दैट्स नॉट व्हाट आई एम सेइंग बट वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड द आपका कोर फाउंडेशन इफ इट्स स्ट्रांग इन डिजाइन लेटर इन मास्टर्स यू कैन चेंज इट एंड इवन इन जॉब्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई हैव सीन वेरी कॉमनली दैट दे चेंज देयर डिसिप्लिन फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर बट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन समथिंग आई वुड रिकमेंड यू गाइस शुड रीड अबाउट इट एंड गो थ्रू इट इन डिटेल क्योंकि हर एक डिसिप्लिन के लिए आपको एक अलग एप्टीट्यूड की जरूरत है that you have to keep in mind uh talk uh, quickly going through different places that you can apply nid is one um definitely one of the top choices for people so they have the basic format is that they have design aptitude test uska ek prelim hoga fir ek main hoga and they have uh, you know a part of it is objective type questions and another part is the creative type questions and uh, in the aptitude wala part mein there is quantitative logical logical reasoning gk current affairs and english and all that happens and after this is done then you go to a studio test and you can see a b desk lay 425 seats and m desk 347 seats these 425 seats is for all nids combined and these are the disciplines available at nid and so ahmedabad bangalore gandhinagar there are three campuses for nid and these are actually under one ahmedabad is the kind of the you can say headquarter or whatever but these three are actually one institute with the same management all right uh, however nid kurukshetra nid vijayawada 
all those are independent they have nothing to do with the ahmedabad center they all are independent and they have their own management they would not have so many disciplines so this is one thing you have to keep in mind if you get through ahmedabad bangalore or gandhinagar bangalore gandhinagar are more masters program uh, then you have all these options open but if you go to any other nid like bhopal vijayawada kurukshetra then you will have largely textile you will have industrial design and you will have visual communication you will not have all those options so these are four different nids over here and these three are combined into one uh nift is another choice uh, which is preferred by students and they have two papers gat cat it's similar to what nid also has one is computer based test which is objective type one is creative ability which is pen and paper mode and uh, so ye aapko common sare design colleges mein rahega ek objective type questions rahega ek part and second will be creative ability test jisme aapka sketching and drawing and thinking all those things will come out and then over here also you have a stage 2 which is situation test which is studio test in nid so very similar but nift mein you have a lot more seats right so and these are a list of ug programs in nift and list of pg programs in nift so you also have to see ki kai sare discipline agar aapko chahiye to shayad aapko nift mein na mile or uh, and they all are even in nift you have different specializations and different nifts who specialize in different specialization which means maybe one nift delhi could be better for fashion and another nift could be could be better for leather and so on so you have to do a little bit of research in which discipline you want to go to and which is your first preferred nift now we have industrial design center it's a part of iit bombay it's a independent body and they offer you bdes and mdes so if you give u seed you actually can apply for bdes both in industrial design center or other iit so iit also has bachelor of design okay so but idc is only in bombay but bdes is available at other places and if you apply for seed you can go for masters or phd program then uh, these are the disciplines in idc there are four but so these three were the top choices that people have and otherwise you have others these are not according to any ranking i've just mentioned a few but you should know that you know there are different places some of them like symbiosis might have their own exam while some of the universities and colleges would take the seed uh, marks or they can even take nid ka uh, design aptitude test ka marking they can take and and that becomes your baseline so a lot of people do apply for nift and nid and uske basis pe they get through other colleges if they don't make it i would also recommend ki you should have a backup college because the seats are available so less that you cannot rely on one now for the preparation i would say ki ab agar prep kar rahe hain nid ya kisi bhi design college ke liye to you have to improve certain skill set in in your uh, under your belt let's say so drawing is one uh, composition is another sense of composition and you should develop sense of color and these are not just theory is what i'm saying you have to practice it okay uh, design is very physical in nature and therefore aap isko theoretically padh ke nahi kar sakte hain sirf theory aapko pata honi chahiye lekin uska application malum hona bahut zaruri hai then please make sure that you are improving your material skill through working on model making on different materials you work on wood which is sticks and all uh, kebab stick or ice cream sticks you can work on paper you can work on uh, metal which means wire and try to make things and become comfortable with it because aapka studio test ke andar bhi material skill is going to come in but that is after you clear the first phase then gk and current affairs as we know the aptitude uh, jo aapka you know the first paper which happens is all around objective type questions uske andar gk and current affair aayega a lot of these questions are around indian culture and craft and current affairs and history and people now you should also try to find previous years question paper which you can find on google uh, different places and try to solve them and you have a portfolio a lot of places don't need portfolio but it's good to create it you know because the thing is ki then people can really evaluate how your work is and please try not to get your portfolio done from outside because it's so easy to figure out we ask you four questions and we can figure out if you have made your portfolio or somebody else has made it in case you have not made a portfolio then it's a super negative remark there and it might end up you losing out on a college so better to have that integrity and you know 
Now with drawing, uh, I'm just elaborating it quickly. Freehand sketching, may there are certain exercises. You can find them online as well. Human animal plant form is one more thing you should try. Uh, and her cheese make a lug thing that you're learning. So you should target these things. Ab gesture kare, to sirf gesture pe concentrate kijiye, fir ek body weight and balance pe concentrate kijiye, shading and rendering alag se kijiye, sab kuch mix karne ki koshish mat karo. That can come towards the end. Then analytical drawing, which means orthographic, isometry, perspective, all these things are very, very important. And one thing which is also very valuable, which people don't concentrate on is your observation skills. Whenever you're going somewhere, for example, they can sometimes ask you, ki, okay, what's the length of a tube light? Now, you, of course, nobody knows exact mm ke andar kitna length of a tube light. Lekin ek, you can understand ki kitna ek size hoga uska, you know, how big or small it is. So, wo ek, aapke observation skills hai, and you cannot be very far away from it. You know, if you're really far away from it, which means aapne life mein kuch observe nahi ke aapne aspas. you're living a life, but you're not observing it. So if you're applying for design colleges, I would say ki start observing things, you know, how people stand, how they talk. Uh, sometimes they've even asked us, okay, aap, aap stations ho hai? okay, how many steps were there? So, you know, um, how many steps were there in while climbing the building that you climb to reach the interview table? So these are very random questions, but they also test your confidence and observation. Now, portfolio can be um, varied. It doesn't have to be only art portfolio. That's very limited, I would say. And don't just put visual things. You have to describe them. That's very, very important because your thinking process can only come into with your description. Okay. How did you go about it? How much time did you take? How much time if you made it, created a model, usme kitna material laga, kitna paisa laga, aapko kitna time laga. So once you document your process of a particular thing that you have created, that is, I would say, is way more important than just putting 10 paintings or 10 visually intriguing work over there. And it can be from anything. It can also be if you, I'm, I'm, personally, I would say, now different colleges can be different, but we want someone who is diverse and just can there multitude of talents so if you do dance so i would love to see your in your portfolio that you are also are inter interested in dance you are a multi-talented person so you can put all that into one place but again reiterating the thing and uh, re-establishing that your thought process i need words your process that process is very important in the portfolio don't just put photographs and get done with it now, uh, going into a little detail for people who might or might not know. This is about the different disciplines under design. So graphic design and visual communication, like I said, some NIDs offer you only visual communication and uh, other places can offer you graphic design separately and, uh, you know, type design separately and so and so forth. So sometimes they're clubbed under one, sometimes they are separate, but they are kind of the similar thing, right? So now in graphic design and visual communication, it's all about storytelling and storytelling through images and text. Now images, it doesn't matter. You want to take a photograph or you want to paint it or you want to create it digitally or you want to create a 3D render and then take it, doesn't matter. As long as there is a visual and there is a text and both of them combined is telling a story, it is visual communication, like a logo, let's say. Now they pay a heavy amount of money all these companies to get their logo done because it tells their story and therefore it becomes their identity, right? It's like a signature for most people. And you can also see how, you know, logos and, and brands have evolved their identities over the time. So, and they do a lot of homework before this. So you have to understand that when they're paid so much money and when companies are about to pay so much money for each logo, then they also, uh, the designers do a lot of homework and, you know, there's a lot of back end story going on behind why it looks the way it does. And for example, this is Lufthansa, right? So this, this part is for dynamic and uh, this grand and so many different things. One logo actually has multitude of storytelling happening within that one thing. And then also creating a specialized type for a particular brand is also a thing. Then um, these are over here, it's data visualization in graphics and you have a magazine. This is also a part of visual communication. Now packaging design is sometimes taught in product design is also taught in visual communication or graphic design. 
Why so? Because externally the story is printed, which is the work of a graphic designer. But packaging design is also something that a product designer can do and also a visual communication person can do. Because these both can be coming. Eki insan bhi soch sakta hai ki yaar mujhe aisa biscuit banana hai, uska ye story hoga, uska opening bhi aisa hoga, or aisa bag hoga, aisa box hoga. So therefore, we have to learn these skills as well in this under this discipline. Signage design, although physically creating a product, it will have the problem solving of a product designer. Because which kind of material use will they use? How will they bend it? But it also is a great part of visual communication because it tells you the story that which thing is where. And therefore, what signage design does is it is applicable to cities, to malls, to exhibitions to mela to anything because we don't want people to get lost and ki wo dhoond rahe cheeze hain right so we want ki without any assistance the place itself should guide the people and that what signage design does you have product and industrial design and uh, again like we said ki it's largely with material and physical products now you used a uh, term for product design for digital product also but i would still say it's better to use digital product as a term and product design uh, because there is no need to create that confusion that's little unnecessary and if you can see that this is for someone possibly whose one hand is non functional due to various reasons so this allows you to fix a vegetable in a place and use only one hand to cut it right so it's a thought this is edible cutlery so again coming from a much deeper requirement why edible cutlery because this one thing can give you a nutrition of a chapati right and then when there are so many crises disasters and when there is shortage of food then why do you want to both increase pollution through giving plastic cutlery um and also give food separately so you give food and you have edible cutlery in case of emergency or otherwise you can just eat the cutlery in the end why not it's a it's a great thought and now craft is a uh, is a product which has evolved through time and ages right so it has been uh, you know over years and years over thousands of years these products have been created and you can't pinpoint ki ek bande ne isko banaya hai the whole culture creates it and a lot of uh, focus is on creating crafts because you know the it's a dying art a lot of times people are losing it and they are also trying to send it out to people ki and you can see that it's time consuming yes a lot of time machines are not used but there is a lot of novelty and it 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 is taking care of a lot of communities and cultures are are actually situated around crafts and it's a beautiful thing i think we all should actually use more crafted item than factory produced item personally that's my take and uh, if you want to understand ki this is a design by one um, ex canadian rahul and he this is crowd funded product he had pledged for 10000 dollars and he received a million dollars for this product through crowd funding as you can see he was trying to redesign the spoon ki 3000 saal pehle spoon aisa tha yesterday it was like this and now it's a flat so depending on where you hold the spoon it changes the volume of the spoon so great for baking stuff and measuring so and then we have transportation design both exterior and interior a very competitive field just as a like a small caution uh, the transportation design especially if you want to design like sketches and all you need to have a you know world class skills in in sketching uh, otherwise you would not have a great thing um, in, in at least in terms of designing cars right interior is different but exterior it's very very highly competitive and it's very skill based as well furniture design again uh, a great feel a big feel that it itself although it's also a product but it's so big that itself is a discipline now right so you can design furniture i love this discipline as well and you have glass and ceramics simply by a just few material like some forms of clay and some forms of glass there is a whole discipline and a industry around it so this is also a great industry and and a discipline if you love the look and feel and the material itself then you have fashion apparel and textiles uh different fashion and apparel can be together but textile is a little separate because in fashion you can be designing clothes but in textile you actually design the fabric itself which means you are going into technically the you know 
the math and the science of creating fabric and it itself is also very beautiful you have to understand that you know a lot of us are also mesmerized by fashion but i would also say that functional apparel i would rate higher than just fashion designing because this is what we require more in this world very few people would be actually wearing any of this stuff a, a fraction of the total population but functional apparel as you can see over here this is a a dress in which in the pocket there is a small holster to keep babies or to hold babies so that's a very useful product for someone and millions of people can utilize it and then make their lives easy so functional apparel is also a direction you can take even after taking apparel or textile now with technology coming in and new materials being innovated tech integrated material innovation is also what you can look into and this you can approach both from product design industrial design or textile design as well so because like i said ki these fields are always intertwining so as an ek ek discipline choose kiya to main dusre ki taraf nahi ja sakta you can always flow into the other discipline as well and uh, ui ux i had not touched before because this is very relatively recent boom which happened because of the technology and mobile devices coming into our lives and uh, so user experience is largely i would say applies to everything so aap ek bar experience aap create karenge ek user ka so which means you need to understand who the user is also what kind of experience do you want to generate for the user to wo jo information hai na it's also behavioral sciences to ye sab ke liye important hai it's important for marketing it's important for sales it's important for people who are designing the concept or the service or the product so ux is something which will be applied to almost every field now so agar aap ux designer hai to aap kisi bhi company ko literally join kar sakte hain aajkal and user interface is more specific to digital products which means a mobile phone based or a laptop based or some kind of digital product uh, however i would also like to say ki abhi zyada zarurat market mein demand is for the digital products but user interface physical bhi hota hai for example in a mobile phone it's all digital because nothing is seen but yahan pe ek button hai mere paas yahan pe button hai ye bhi user interface hai right so if there is a machine which has 20 buttons on it let's say a microwave so that's also user interface so user interface is not always physic uh, digital it's also physical so you could be working in a product company which is a physical product company and you could be designing their user interface as well and interaction design is something in which uh, typically a physical space or a this thing it can also be digital but how do people interact so this is also it it's in tandem with ui ux but isme aap human interaction if you leave 20 people in a space is the space designed well ki they can figure out ki kya karna hai unko us jagah ke andar so you know how do people interact wo kiske paas pehle jayenge pehle kya dekhenge which button do they press first uh, are they comfortable so all these things are there in interaction design and it's a very vast field it's very a lot of fun also i would say and and i i like interaction design a lot and uh, video game industry it hires a lot of designers you have level game level designers you have concept designers concept art and animation and storyboard and then you have another part where in the people who code it so you can choose if you are agar aapko coding ki taraf jana hai to aap tab bhi game industry mein ja sakte hain agar aapko visual if if the visual aspect is what intrigues you more to so aap कॉन्सेप्ट आर्ट की तरफ ही जा सकते हैं बैकग्राउंड लेवल डिजाइन पे जा सकते हैं एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ सो एंड नाउ कमिंग टू आर्किटेक्चर व्हिच इज अ सेपरेट इंस्टीट्यूशन कॉलेज एवरीथिंग बट आई सी अ लॉट ऑफ कॉमनलिटी बिटवीन डिजाइन एंड आर्किटेक्चर देयरफॉर आई एम टेलिंग यू इफ यू वांट टू गो थ्रू आर्किटेक्चर इट्स बोथ इंटीरियर एंड एक्सटीरियर यू कैन गो टू सेप्ट एसपी आईआईटी एंड आईटी देयर टंस ऑफ कॉलेजेस व्हिच ऑफर यू आर्किटेक्चर दीस आर सम ऑफ द टॉप वंस सेप्ट एसपीए आईआईटीज आर आर देयर गुड and they have a separate exam all together and with with the world going through climate crisis i would say sustainability is becoming major aspect for both architecture and for designers as well um architects rather and designers as well so um, eco building solutions and um, ecology is becoming a very major aspect of new age designers and architects and they are trying to adopt the new materials और ओल्ड मटीरियल इन अव ये भी बोल सकते हैं हम लोग 
and i just give example of shushmita mohanty uh why so because she did her electrical engineering at some point of time after that she did her industrial design from nid then she was her father used to was involved in the creation of isro so she you know she grew up around science and and around rocket science so that itself uh, i want to say how people create their own path in design and that's very common and that's what i want to tell you that it's very much possible ki aap apna khud ka ek uh, path create kar sakte hain design ke andar like what shushmita has done so she worked with nasa and other space agencies after she did her industrial design and now she has her own uh, company also and she is a indian spaceship designer so aapko agar spaceship design seekhna hai to koi nahi aisa bahut kam rare koi institution hoga who which might teach you but in this way she kind of taught herself how to become an indian spaceship designer through her work and that is very much possible you just have to work in a company or a project around a certain domain and you can become a part of that domain to agar aapne kabhi bhi kisi bhi you can work on a project which is around space and then based on that project you can join a company which works around space or space exploration or things like that and before you know after 10 years you become a specialist so it's fairly simple you just have to be around spaces and field which which you want to specialize in and do relevant projects that's it so yeah i think now we'll open up the sure, platform Gaurav. for questions sure gorav i have a couple of questions that have come in already yes just give me a second and uh, right so there was one question by an engineering student uh who claims that he is good with uh, pencil art and he wanted to know uh what can i do with this skill set uh, and with my current technical knowledge okay so pencil see the thing is sketching aapko you have to understand ki why there is a little bit of focus on sketching it is not the heart and soul of it no. uh, illustration ke liye yes sketching i would say is the heart and soul of illustration but design ke liye it's not the heart and soul rather it's actually to just so that you can communicate taki aap apna ideas ko kisi ke samne rakh sake and you can't every time go into find an ipad and go into a digital this thing or even go and start creating a 3d model which will take you 3 days main chahta hu ki you are sitting with me aapke paas 3 minute hai mujhe samjhane ke liye aapka idea kya hai so that's when sketching comes into the picture ki aap fatafat sketch karke ek concept explain kar sake dusra sketching ke andar problem solving you can resolve some 70% problems in a sketch against having it in your mind to mind ke andar ek idea aata hai uske baad aap sketch mein jab dalte hain na uske andar aap bahut sari cheeze resolve kar sakte hain just in a sketch so you have to understand it's it's just a tool which you use right now if your sketching is good so it's great but if your sketching is not that great it's okay but aapko at least ek average level pe pahunchna padega for those whose sketching is not so great ki aap communication level tak pahunch paye kam se kam once you have reached the communication level uske aage there are digital tools which can help you further make it more fancy for a presentation and all that stuff wo aa sakta hai lekin agar aap engineering background se hain to i would say uh, don't take it as a as an assault <laughs> but i would also say that you know uh, being from engineering is one thing but engineering is a highly creative field but underutilized all the time in india especially matlab aap log इंजीनियरिंग में यू कैन एक्चुअली रिजोल्व थिंग्स टू द टू द डिसमिल वैल्यू राइट मतलब हमारे पास आइडियाज हैं लेकिन आप उसको काम कैसे करेगा वो वो आप लोग रिजोल्व कर सकते हैं तो वो क्रिएटिव आइडियाज बहुत सारे हैं जो आप लोग हेल्प कर सकते हैं रिजोल्व करने के लिए लेकिन क्रिएटिव आइडियाज ज्यादा आते नहीं है वहां से मतलब वही सेम चीज चर्न होती रहती है मतलब यू नो द थिंग इज की डिजाइनर्स अगर आप का एक एप्टीट्यूड लें और इंजीनियर का एप्टीट्यूड लें मिला देना तो उससे जो पावर निकलेगी आई एम सेंग दैट्स रियली इट्स it's amazing so engineers have to walk a little bit to, towards designers and art and artists have to walk a little bit towards engineering why so because hamara ultimate objective hai ki hamare jo great ideas hain usko hum samne duniya ke la paaye or we can make it happen now to make it happen things don't just happen in an idea it has to be manifested like we say uske andar industrial process aayenge uske andar material cost aayega uske andar economics aayega uske andar management aayega बहुत सारे कंसिडरेशन है सो अभी तो आप सबको यू हैव टू बिकम अ लाइक अ लियोनार्डो 
in the sense that you need to understand and learn multiple fields. I think every designer or engineer should one know a little bit of both, and also a bit of management, which means consideration of economics. How much time does it take to uh, to make something work? Uh, also, human behavior and customer behavior. So all these things, they sab koi samajna padega because isolation me aap acha solution nahi de paenge. I hope that answers it, Thomas. I I guess so too because I think that's a very interesting perspective uh, that often students don't come across. Uh, the next question, of course, is from another person who practices art regularly. He asks that. Apart from me practicing art, are there any other habits or regular habits that one should form to improve their drawing or sketching abilities? So, with art, I would say uh, a lot of skills are actually senses. वो skill नहीं है. तो आपको अगर आपको sense enhance करना है ना, it's a slow process, but it's a sure shot process. Which means कि a lot of people who can see great art, who can create great art, actually first they visualize in their head. And वो विजुअलाइज कैसे कर पाते हैं क्योंकि उनके पास वो सेंसिबिलिटी ऑफ लेट्स से वन थिंग कुड बी लाइट एंड शेड अनलेस यू कैन परसीव लाइट एंड शेड हाउ डू यू रेप्लीकेट इट ऑन पेपर सो पहले आपको ऑब्जर्व करना शुरू करना पड़ेगा यू गो इन टू नेचर नेचर इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट आई वुड से प्रैक्टिस प्लेसेस फॉर यू क्योंकि किसी भी डिजिटल ह्यूमन क्रिएटेड ऑब्जेक्ट में वेदर इट्स डिजिटल और प्रिंटेड आपके पास गिने चुने कलर्स हम रेप्लीकेट कर सकते हैं बट नेचर के अंदर वो कलर्स टेन थाउजेंड एक्स है विच मीन्स वेन यू डील विद टेन थाउजेंड एक्स कलर्स योर आईज आर गेटिंग सेंसिटाइज टू टेन थाउजेंड एक्स अमाउंट ऑफ कलर एंड लाइट एंड शेड अगर आप नेचर से इंस्पिरेशन लेके प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो आपका सेंसिबिलिटी इंप्रूव होगा सेम विथ कॉम्पोजिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉम्पोजिशन इज अमेजिंग बहुत पावर क्रिएट कर सकता है कॉम्पोजिशन इन योर विजुअल कम्युनिकेशन सो आप आर्ट प्रैक्टिस करते हैं लेकिन अगर उसमें कॉम्पोजिशन में आप फोकस करेंगे तो आपका आर्ट और ज्यादा पावरफुल हो जाएगा एंड कॉम्पोजिशन में यू कैन क्रिएट लेयर्स ऑफ डेप्थ इन टर्म्स ऑफ पहले क्या देखेंगे फिर वो सेकंड क्या देखेंगे थर्ड क्या देखेंगे एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ सो दैट इज आल्सो देयर एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन आल्सो फोकस ऑन यू नो यू शुड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू टेल अ स्टोरी थ्रू आर्ट विच इज एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि कई सारे लोग की स्किल अच्छी है दे डू ग्रेट अमाउंट ऑफ पोर्ट्रेट्स But as you know, कब तक कोई पोर्ट्रेट बनवाएगा यू नो इज दैट द एंड ऑफ द होल आर्ट कि हम पोर्ट्रेट ही बनाएंगे किसी का या रियलिस्टिक ही बनाएंगे बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली इट्स लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू सी आप कैसे सोचते हैं आपके अंदर कोई स्टोरीज हैं सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल वॉट दे डू इज अपना पेन अपना हैप्पीनेस अपना एक वॉइस एक्टिविज्म दे ब्रिंग इट आउट थ्रू आर्ट एंड देन इट बिकम्स पावरफुल बिकॉज तब वो ज्यादा लोग समझ पाते हैं एंड दे कैन रिसीव so i think these are some things apart from a lot that you can develop i would say awesome so thanks for that i think the next question is uh, yeah so this is an interesting question what kind of books would you recommend for someone who wants to understand design thinking design thinking uh, if i had this question earlier i would have noted down some names but there are there are two uh but what i can do is i can because i have a terrible memory it's difficult to recall these books but i can send it back to you so one is a very thin portrait book which is almost like a handbook it has everything to do with design thinking i can send it across to you i recently saw it uh, my my wife had uh, sweetie had taken it from the library from the kmc so called and uh, but i don't recall the name because i did not read the book she did but i saw the contents and i found it really interesting and okay. uh, yeah but i'll i'll send the recommendations across perfect okay. so uh, there are just three more questions that i have one is uh, uh, how in your opinion will design evolve in the future especially in the context of uh, digitization and the climate crisis uh one is we have to lower our carbon footprint which means consumption i think has to be because you know um, it's a sad thing but it is true that designers have most impacted the consumer behavior which means i'm saying it outright ki designers help companies to sell products it's a very sad state but it is true 
that's who hires us right koi matlab ngo doesn't hire like ngos also hire designers but in a very small fraction maximum designers are working for google apple samsung lg you name the company and there will be designers and what do we do we help create more consumers and we help people buy more products so we are as much responsible for climate crisis as much anyone else right so unless you understand this point and therefore when i said ki now sustainability ki taraf architects ja rahe hain i know new age architects who are now going into earth building materials and not so much as engineered goods and engineered material because you have to understand that anything you hold it's actually literally coming from earth you know nothing can be created from air which means anything which is tangible which you can touch it was a form of mineral at some point of time and where do minerals exist inside the earth so we have literally dug up the earth and created every building every pen every fabric everything is coming from there so this this consciousness has to shift which is happening uh, and people are used for very small habits you have to change for example people are carrying their own uh, containers to buy things as much as pani puri also to eat and uh, reducing plastic waste so as a designer what we have to do is one is we have to adopt uh, practices which are sustainable and digital usme okay one thing is ki a lot of things which were happening physically ab wo digitally ho raha hai to theek hai the great thing is ki ab physical cheeze kam manufacture ho rahi hain kuch kuch but the problem is then electricity is also coming from somewhere so you know the, the digital means like so we have to be a little aware of ki not one solution does not suddenly change everything wo dheere 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 we have to like flow a little but be very aware of of um but i can but there's no major change happening so far people are still on the same path but awareness zarur chalu ho chuki hai which i would say which is which is good and we are also what we are doing is i would say join any company it doesn't matter but try to bring better practices within the company because designers do have a big say into the functioning and what is going to come out so you know it's our influence that that is going to change how the behavior of the consumer is also going to be so we have to go inside or under say like try to bring the change rather than from outside but digitally we can already see you know it's a little flux for example crypto has come in now these things were impossible but it was unimaginable that something like cryptocurrency would be available functional um similarly upi was unimaginable 20 years back bahut simple si cheez hai but revolutionized india india is leading in the world matlab india is leading in space front india is leading in upi in digital scenario mein to india is leading again so i think we should uh, also harness the power of connectivity because so many indians are connected regardless of their income i would say because uh, aajkal from a very low income to a very high income sabke paas ek mobile phone and internet kafi had tak hota hai i'm not saying everyone has it so let's kind of collaborate and and create community based initiatives is what i'm aiming at ki aap log ko na kuch bhi change the change like what gandhi ji said like you have to become a change that you want to see so what you have to do is just find 10 people who think like you make a small campaign run it make a small change soon you can have a thousand people together soon you can have 10000 then 10 million and so and so forth so this is the power of technology which we should definitely harness is bringing a positive change into the society by connecting to each other in isolation may you won't be able to make any more impact i would say you have to collaborate and that, i think that's the future so mm-hmm. collaborative softwares aapko seekhne padenge jisse aap sab log bahut ek fun way mein collaborate kar paye and that would become your power so aapko na apna identity thoda ego kam karna padega because it's the pehle hota tha like you know single designers were very celebrated so that's a lot of ego attached to one designer i'm saying jo aap kaam kar rahe hain us pe focus karenge to 10000 people are actually doing one thing so aapka identity is 1 by 10000 but you should be happy that you made a change which is impossible for a single person to bring and only 10000 people can bring it so if you can have that joy then i think it can it can be a major uh, time shifting and space shifting cheez ho sakti hai hogi bhi i i can predict it already that's a very powerful message uh, so thank you for answering that and finally uh, one question that uh, we often get as counselors as well 
like you already know that the gaming industry has been uh, you know growing very very fast and faster than a lot of other industries as well however uh, <clears throat> of course uh, in india as well there is a lot of consumption of gaming but also there is a new flux of being interested in the sector altogether however uh, you know the older generation or the parents uh, what is your message to the parents when it comes to uh, you know looking at the gaming industry and having probably a healthier attitude towards uh, you know uh, occupation you know job opportunities opportunities to solve problems not only in entertainment through gaming but also you know there are education as well that that is there's so many other problems that get solved through gaming right so what is your message to parents on that i think the parent there's a message to both there is a difference between a creator and a consumer i would say ki most of us who are here we should become creators in some form or the other क्योंकि कंजम्पन में क्या है ना इट्स अ वन वे एक्टिविटी यू जस्ट कंज्यूम 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 एंड दैट कैन एक्चुअली लीड टू साइकोलॉजिकल इश्यूज आल्सो सो गेमिंग में इफ यू आर अ गेमर आई वुड से यू नीड टू सेट अ टाइम लिमिट अनलेस यू आर अ प्रोफेशनल आई हैव एक्चुअली कंसीडर्ड माय सेल्फ टू बिकम अ प्रोफेशनल गेमर नॉट अ गेम डिजाइनर अ गेमर बट आई ऑल्सो रियलाइज क्यों क्या कैन प्ले लाइक फाइव आवर्स सिक्स आवर्स एट आवर्स बट आई नो आफ्टर अ वीक आई बी लाइक बर्न आउट so it it does not evolve in my head into an industry because you need to do something for 10 years to become a pro at something right i cannot play 10 years the games and if i cannot play for 10 years then do sal game khel ke that's a lot of wastage of time because the those two years I, actually i can gain experience in a field which i want to specialize in so i've i've actually pondered over these questions a lot ki which industry to go and gaming was one and apart from game designing i'm saying gaming so you have to understand ki when you're playing games a lot of us do even i play a little bit of games you need to set a time of how much you want to play as a consumer so consumption should be low and uh, but as a industry when you're a creator it's a completely different scenario it's a complete positive scenario i'm saying as a gaming working in a gaming industry why because one you're a creator you're using your intellect you're using your creative powers you are problem solving you're not actually playing the game as much as you're creating it so it's a it's a other side of the coin and there is no correlation between a playing a game and versus uh creating a game matlab bahut different benefits advantages and disadvantages hain one side you have you spend 8 hours playing a game there is a huge amount of disadvantage 8 hours of creating a game huge amount of advantages so parents have to understand ki these two things are very different so when we say gaming it does not to playing a game is different than creating a game and within that domain also create uh, game creation ke andar itne sare details hain and so many sub specialization is there that a person from any background or any aptitude somewhere they are going to fit in so if you are from a programming background there is something for you if you are from a only purely you have skills with modeling 3d modeling i mean there is something for you you can do level design if you are great at sketching but not digitally you can do concept art right uh, so there is something for everyone and if you are great at thinking then you can go into creating the concept of the game itself which means somebody originates the game na ki aisa game hoga which also means they are great into human behavior and how do people think how do players think how do they play so so great so uh, i think we've come to the round i think most of the questions were already answered in your session it was quite detailed and that's the feedback that i'm getting in from our viewers as well uh, so thank you very much uh, gorov for taking all the time and effort to uh, you know help us here i think we our students have uh, benefited a lot from your insights and i think uh, the parents and the adults who have also joined and i think they have also got a lot of insights on uh, from the answers that you have given uh, so very honored to have you here and be able to host you uh, thank you so much again for taking out the time to do this same here uh, thomas you again thank uh, you thank you so much it's a pleasure Thank you so much, Gaurav, and thank you everyone for joining in. Uh, you know, we'll we'll keep doing weekly career classes every Saturday, and thank you, uh, Gaurav, once again. And all of you have a very wonderful weekend. Bye bye. Have a bye. good day. You too. Bye, everyone.